Uah, pull your dog in. This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Uh, for anyone new joining the channel, because my subscriber count's gone whoop, way up at the moment. Uh, for anyone uh, watching, I'm a class one driver. I've documented my entire HDV career um, throughout, well, since the beginning, really. <laughs> so from the moment I decided to become a truck driver, to get my theory, to do my practical, to get my first job, to change in jobs and all that, Everything has been documented, and uh, yeah, this is this is my life. This is me trying to help new guys get into the industry, uh, showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, I don't just show all the good stuff, and I do have bad days. Everyone has bad days. Anyway, talking of bad days, yes, yesterday was a bad day. <laughs> we had to do some work for uh, BMW in Oxford, and uh, let's just say they are not the fastest, and I. I've always said, if there's one thing I don't like about driving, it's not driving. And being sat in a plan for four hours is uh, it's a good way to wind me up. <laughs> anyway, it's a new day today, fresh day. Um, it's actually currently one o'clock in the afternoon. We've, we've, we've done sort of half the day already. But um, we've got a little bit of an adventure approaching us, I do believe. So I thought I'd get the cameras out and uh, I'll, I'll vlog this one. So we're currently in London. We've just done a delivery to Alexandra Palace, actually, uh, for some event. Some singer is performing there. I um, can't, the, can't remember what his name was now, but it's someone I'd never heard of. No offence if it was you. <laughs> um, not that I'm suggesting for a second that celebrities watch my videos, but never mind. Um, so we've just done a delivery in Alexandra Palace. We are now heading to the postcode N12 or NN12. One of them. It's in the Woolwich area. Woolwich slash Green, Greenwich, Greenwich. Probably bef like saying that wrong. It's just after Blackwall Tunnel. If it is called that, I'm probably getting that wrong as well. <laughs> um, and we've got to get loaded with stuff. What are we getting loaded with? I don't know. Where are we delivering it? I don't know. <laughs> it's um, it's a magic mystery tour. Now I've got I've got an idea where we're going. Uh, Some place called Wrighton. Now, that's all I've been told, just Wrighton. I put Wrighton into Google Maps and it comes up with somewhere up near Newcastle, which is going to be an epic 300 mile drive. It's going to take about six and a half hours to get there, uh, which I don't have enough time today. So we're definitely going to be, if it is that place, we're going to be making our way up there today, finding somewhere to park and resuming our journey in the morning. But uh, like I said, I don't know what we're picking up. Don't know what we're taking. Don't know how many how many pallets or anything. Don't even know what it is. We'll um, we'll find out when we get there. Could be anything. So uh, yeah, well, that's a bit of a long intro. I do I do know, but uh, stay stick with me. Uh, I'll see you when we're a little bit closer. We're about 23 minutes out, so um, I shall see you when we're a little bit closer to where we need to be. See you in a bit. You cannot seem to get to me. I am back with a stolen identity. Traffic lights seem to be quite stupid. These lights are red. When they turn green, the ones in front turn red. Then it's all blocked up and you can't go. 
So the ones in front now have turned red. These will turn green in a minute. You can't really go because it's all blocked up. <laughs> so my lights are green now, but I can't go any further forward because they're red in front. As soon as these turn red, that'll go green. It's a bit of a... Oh, hang on, we've got to... Uh, see, it's just turned red now. So now my lights are red, their lights, those lights are green. All that on from the left hand side is going to come and block it all up when it turns red. Uh, I think we're going to be uh, trying to cross a line here. Right, 18 ton weight limit in front of us, but we are permitted to enter because it's uh, only a weight limit during certain times by the looks of it. Take this quite wide. Where's the siren coming from? There's the siren. Anyway, I do hope that bridge is not 10 foot. <laughs> we won't get under it otherwise. Pull your dog in. Uh, That's right. I'm so, so sorry. That's okay. I'm so, so sorry. That's all right. I stopped. So you're all right, yeah? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Oh my god. That woman just walked out in front of me. <laughs> now. I just had to slam on my brakes then. Jesus Christ. Not gonna Oh my god. Well, at least she's all right. Jesus Christ. I could see as I was approaching, she wasn't looking and the dog was wandering out. I said something like, Jesus, get your dog in or something. And then she just walked out in front of me. Wow. <laughs> I did, I asked her if she was all right, didn't I? I Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'd, uh, blah, I just need a moment to, uh, to calm down, I think. <sighs> right. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> I just needed a moment to take in what just happened. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Oh my God. Why would you just walk out? She didn't even look, man. She did not even look. Anyway. <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to just stopping and recording now off my phone to show, to show the guys, my work colleagues. Anyway, we're nearly here. We're going to take a left here at this roundabout. Du -du 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 -du. Where you go? Just to say, oh my god! Really? Got to go down here. What is it with vans parking on corners? Oh, yeah, I made it. Thank you. Uh, right, we want SMP. Well, they're right there. Look, I think I think they got most of these units by the looks of it. Which one I need, I do not know. 
SMP, SMP. I'm going to say not that one. Oh, there's a sign over here, look. What does this sign say? Ah, this looks like a loading yard. Swan Road Reception, Siemens Road, Goods in Dispatch. I'm going to go in here because I can quite clearly see bays. There's stuff out here, look, ready to go, so it might be my stuff. We just uh, we spin round and uh, go and see someone. And then we'll go from there. Just, uh, just straighten up a little bit. Right, lovely, lovely. See you in a bit. Right, we're getting loaded. It's got like a load of boxes on. They're incredibly light boxes, so I'm just using the internals on these. Uh, no ratchets needed. I could ratchet strap them, but then I'd just destroy the boxes. So, internals it is. Uh, they're gonna put a few more on. Then we'll be good to go. Yes. Right, we're now loaded. And, hey, turns out I was wrong. So when I put Wrighton in Google Maps, it just comes up with like uh, Newcastle. But it's not actually where we're going. We're going to DHL Wrighton, which uh, if, anyone, if anyone knows where that is, it's in Coventry. So we are actually going to be there today. Just checking the route quickly. Yeah, we're going to head straight out of London, up the M11, M25. Yeah, then we take, yeah, take the M1 up. Straight up past Milton Keynes, all the way towards Birmingham. That's the route we're going to take. We're good to go. Uh, let's put that in there, set. Yeah, we're good to go. Right, we are going on a ferry. Because why not? Rather than going around Dartford, we'll, uh, we'll take the ferry instead. If we can get on. On the ferry we go. I've never been on the Warwick Ferry. I don't have a lot of room there, mate. Oh, oh, this is tight. We're gonna have to get right up. Oh, there goes my mirror. We have to get right up to this car's bottom. There we go, I can't go much further. I think I'm just about on, I think. We'll find that in a sec. <laughs> I think, yeah, just a tad, I think. Yeah, just about then. That's good. <laughs> right, we're on. Turn the old engine off.
God, that's how nice. It's an American car down there. Sounds really nice. Right. There's a there's a bus down here. I'm not sure I can get past it. Yeah. She uh, she recognised I needed the bus moving. Thank you. Oh, you can walk on as well, by the looks of it. Lovely. Right, where do we go? I ain't got a clue where we're going from here. I'd take it as just follow the bus, isn't it? It's probably the best bet. I think I want to bear right, so I'm just... I uh, merges into one lane anyway. I want to turn right, so I was going to take the right-hand side lane, but it merged into one anyway. Everyone's got a good way to track coming out. Lovely. That wouldn't say uh, so bad. I've uh, the sat navs rooted me that way before, and uh, I've always said, "Nah, I'm not going to go that way. I just go the long way around." <laughs> but um, actually, it was uh, all right, nice and easy, completely free as well. So yeah, lovely jubbly. Anyway, let's uh, let's crack on. We've got to get to Coventry. We've lost a bit of time on the ferry. Our ETA was five o'clock. It's now quarter past five, but um, not to the end of the world. Let's get to crack a lacking and get out of London. See you in a bit. You cannot seem to get to me. Right you are, we are about a mile on, <laughs> we're about a mile and a half away. Whoa, where are you going? I saw him there, but I thought he was going to take it a bit wide then. Yeah, we're about a mile and a half away from uh, from where we need to be, DHL. I've uh, I've realised, actually, I've, I've been here once before. I have. And last time I come here, I needed a reference number. And I didn't have a reference number, so I was waiting on the gate, blocking the entrance for about 15 minutes until I had a reference number. Well... I have a reference number, so hopefully we can get straight in, fingers crossed. Uh, and it's DHL, so it's going to be um, like taking off on a bay, so yeah, hopefully it won't uh, be too long. I don't think I was here that long. No more than an hour, anyway, last time I was here, so fingers crossed. Well, it's probably going to be shift changeover because it's, uh, it's like ten past five at the moment, so might be a shift change, but we will see, we will see. Hopefully we're out by six o'clock. We started at five o'clock this morning, so we can work until eight o'clock. Yeah. So we'll, um, when we leave, hopefully by six, we can only work for two more hours. Uh, and I'll also do a printout to find out driving time as well, because I did four and a half by the time I got there, then an hour there, so that's five and a half, plus the two and a half now, six, seven and a half, eight hours. I'm on about eight hours now which means I've only got an hour of drive time, two hours if I go into a tent. We will see. I don't even know what I'm doing from here yet. I might, they might say back to the yard, in which case I might see if I can get back, but I don't think I will be back to the yard. Um, there's loads of places I could be sent from here, so. I'll, uh, I'll message the boss once we are in a bit on a bay. There is just on the left. Once we're on a bay, I'll, I'll message the boss and uh, find out 
roughly what we're doing next. Am I coming off here? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, then we can find out what we're uh, what we're doing next. How many pallets I got on? Pretty sure they're going to ask. I don't know because they're odd shapes. More than ten, less than twenty. Hello. Hi there. Yeah, I got a uh, delivery for you guys. Do you need my reference number? Yes. Uh, so it's R Y T. Name. Luke. Your number. Uh, oh, just put just put down one. Uh, yeah, just put down number one. There you go. Number one. Go to bay 157. Bay 157. Thank you. Where do I... Uh, you're not there? You're gone? Okay. Oh, might actually be this side. Might be on the very end. I don't normally reverse on bay, so you watch me cock this up now. Just thought. It might be a good idea to open my doors. <laughs> well, I think someone just recognised me. Hi, oh, you, mate, you right? You yeah. Luke, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, thank you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, man. Majid Khan, my name. I usually comment on your uh, YouTube videos as well. Oh, dear? Yeah. Oh, yeah, lovely, yeah. lovely. Yeah, big fan of Thank you, mate. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. I'm actually recording a video right now. Oh, you're recording. Oh, Camera's right. on there. Oh, now. Oh, Microphone's there. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, nice to see you. Nice mate. to see you, mate. All right. Yeah, I, I regularly come here. I don't often come I here, no. You on, no, I've only been here, in the last year, I've been here twice, oh, so right. not often. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice Have to see you, mate. Day, yeah. See you later. <laughs> oh, bless him. See you later, mate. <laughs> uh, I could tell, uh, I could tell you recognise me before you come over. I've said in the last video, you just, you just know. You see the way people are looking at you. Now I'm not going to lie. The, all the internal straps are still, still on the truck, uh, on the trailer. And uh, I haven't undone any of them, <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping that they can just make them longer by pressing the buckle. <laughs> they might ask me to move. I don't know. Right, I need to make sure the suspension is up on the trailer, and uh, hand the keys in. See you in a bit. So, got the keys lit in my hands. What I'm going to do now is just make sure we're high enough on the back. Uh, have a take a look in here. Here, yeah, not too bad. I could probably go back a little bit more and up. So, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to lift the suspension up a little bit. Look. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go back a bit and then uh, see if they give me a knock on the door or whatever. Right, we're literally just leaving DHL now. A couple of things I've done wrong <laughs> whilst here. Firstly, I didn't undo the internals <laughs> on the trailer and the, the bloke inside was going absolutely mental. <laughs> driver! Driver! You've not undone the internals! Driver! So I went... I had a word with him. I said, sorry, sorry mate, I, said, I do apologise. I said, if you just pull the buckle on the top, pull it down, it'll, it'll lengthen the strap and you can get it out. Ah, oh, you should undo it. This is your job, this is your job. You should undo it. I said, all right, mate, no worries. I said, I'll, um, if you come on out, I'll uh, undo the side of the curtains and I'll quickly undo them. No, I don't worry about it. You go sit down, you go sit down, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Like, I've apologised and uh, I've offered to, you know, just to rectify the problem. No, nah, he wouldn't have it. <laughs> anyway, he finished tipping me and I went over to him. I said, I do apologise, mate. I said, I didn't mean to upset you. 
said I had no problem undoing the straps. He goes, now, nah, mate, not, not to worry, mate. He goes, just been a busy day, just got a bit stressful. I said, I said that's right, bud, no worries. <laughs> anyway, that was the first instance. The second instance is I come straight out to the goods out, uh, the good, the exit, without apparently going into an office and getting paperwork. I said to him, I said, I don't have any paperwork. I said, I haven't handed any paperwork in. I got no paperwork. All I got is a reference number. And uh, that's it. He goes, oh, you need to go to, work to you need to go to the office. I said, oh, right. I said, I got a truck behind me now, so I can't go out, can I? <laughs> he goes, no, you can't. He goes, well, I'm gonna have to sort it out for you here. I said, all right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they sort it out for me there. What lane do I want? I think left lane should take me there. So uh, yeah, two mistakes. <laughs> oh, you, you live and learn. I said I'd never been there before, but truth be told, I'd, I've been there once before, like I said earlier. I have for, just forgot about it on my way out. I was like, yeah, first time I've been here. And then I thought, actually, no, you're lying. <laughs> I hate lying. Shouldn't have done that. Anyway, we're, uh, I found out what we've got to do now. So uh, it's a 35 minute drive now to a farm in Stratford upon Avon. Uh, the time currently is, what time is it? It's 10 past six. So actually we've been there for about an hour, which is what I expected. Uh, we can only work until eight o'clock. So we've got to be finished in the next one hour, 50 minutes one hour, 50 minutes. I got one hour of drive time left on a nine hour drive, 10 hour, uh, sorry, two hours left on a 10 hour drive. And we are 33 minutes away, which means we can get to our destination on both a nine hour drive and also within our 15 hour shift. There's a person on the side of the road there. So plan is get to our destination, our, our collection point on a nine hour drive. So we don't go into a 10 uh, and then uh, by the time we get there, we should have about an hour and 10 minutes to get loaded. No, an hour, an hour and 20 minutes to get loaded. It should be ample time. And apparently we can park up there as well for the night. So that's the plan, go get loaded uh, and take our card out by 8 p.m. And then nine hours off probably and start again in the morning. Apparently tomorrow I've got four drops in Wiltshire. So we're gonna see those four drops in Wiltshire, wherever they gotta go. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll uh, be an easy day tomorrow. Right, let's crack on. Let's get to this destination. Ooh, we have 11 foot three bridge in eight miles. We're not going to be going over that bridge today, which that's good. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go right here. Yeah, eight miles. We're not eight. We're not going up this road for eight miles. We're only going up here for a mile, so that's good. There's a weight trace there. Do, do, do. So, sun is setting. We're about to go down a single track lane in a sec. Sun is setting. Hopefully we can get loaded before it's dark. Time is currently 20 to seven. So we've got an hour and 20 minutes left of working time. Um, unless something drastically goes wrong, we should, uh, we should be loaded in an hour, I would have thought. I mean, if we... For whatever reason we do run out of time, I just have to open my curtains. I say, right, I'm finished now, mate. <laughs> Cards out, load it up. I'll have to just finish strapping up in the morning. So, as long as I'm not doing any work, no problem. Anyway, so SatNav was telling me uh, to go slightly further on and around and come in the other way, which looks to me like single track roads for longer. So I've taken the executive decision to, to turn right sooner down a single track, but, it's only half a mile, if that, rather than two miles. <laughs> so hopefully we don't uh, come across anything wide coming in the other direction. I do believe we need to bear off rights. Western Welford. Can't remember the company name we're, we're uh, delivering to. Oh, that's what we're driven to. Millmore Hall Farm. So yeah, this is who we are delivering to. And we've only got to go down here so far. When we get here, we've got to try and find someone. It looks... Uh, well, there's a farm. <laughs> Looks like a farm. <laughs> Windows down so we can concentrate. A 
Looks like there's a house here. No, that's a gate. This one's a house. Yeah. And then it looks like we want to take the next right. The sun is right in my eyes. Ah, oh, yeah, that was much nicer. Now, where are we going when we get in here? Are we going straight on the Waybridge? Yeah, it's got to be straight on the Waybridge, surely. Is that even a Waybridge? Surely we just go around here. I don't know, this is guesswork. I saw a trail around here. Hopefully it's just around here. I think we're getting grain of some sort. Yeah, looks like it. I think I'm gonna plonk myself in the middle of this yard. And then we're probably parking over there a little bit. Someone coming over. There's a forklift here. Let's see what the forklift has to say. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we are loaded. Not that you can really see me very well. We're now loaded, and as you can see, it's dark. It's uh, 20 to 8, so we've got 20 minutes to park up. And he said that there's uh, a place out here. If I turn left out of here, then reverse back, I should be able to park up some lane or some track. That's the main road, isn't it? That's the, I can't park on that, that's the main road. It's a bit dark out to be trying to do a blindside reverse, but let's give it a go. As weird as this sounds, the spotlights on the trailer, the side markers, are actually too bright. I can't see where I'm going. I've actually had to turn my lights off <laughs> so the um, side markers on the back of the trailer don't show so I can actually see the road. <laughs> now that was a blind side reverse in the dark. I think I think this is where he said to go, because that was the way I come in there, on the left. Unless he meant up there. 
Yeah, I'm going to reverse it up there. Some parallel to this machinery. I think that's the best bet. It's all clear. There's something coming. So we'll be out the way by then. Yeah, that's better. There's the barn on the left. There she is. Yeah, that's much better. So I'm parallel, almost. So basically, I just take a slightly wide swing and then out so my trailer don't hit all this machinery down here. Not that I suspect you can see it. But, uh, yeah, there's a load of machinery down there. Anyway, lovely jubbly. So I was going to vlog tomorrow, but um, actually, I need to turn the lights off as it's gonna keep binging. I'm actually not gonna vlog tomorrow because uh, I've got four deliveries and each and every single one of them is going to farms. Uh, single track roads, and truth be told, I just want to concentrate on those roads. Uh, not only that, but when it's four deliveries, um, I know it might be good for one video perhaps, but uh, the editing a vlog with like that many stop starting just takes forever. So unfortunately, this is going to be the end of the video. 19, 41 is, well, I'm gonna put down 45 just to be safe. We are finished. Put the mileys down. Excellent. So yeah, we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Luckily, I didn't kill that woman because uh, I don't want that on my conscience. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're done for today. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.